The early Soviet space program was marked by speed. The Soviet Union chose speed over sophistication to launch the first satellite, Sputnik 1, on October 4, 1957. But just because speed was a premium doesn't mean that Soviet space officials skipped pre-launch testing. Leading up to Yuri Gagarin's landmark flight on Vostok 1, the Soviet Union launched two unmanned tests with the dummy Ivan Ivanovich on board. The final two unmanned Vostok flights, Karabal Sputniks 4 and 5, were both launched in March of 1961. It was a time during which the Soviet Union was starting to get a little bit nervous that they were losing their lead in space. There was an animal payload on board. In the case of Karabal Sputnik 4, this was a dog named Chernushka, Russian for Blackie, housed in a small pressurized capsule. But the dog didn't fly alone. In the main spacecraft, in the ejection seat reserved for a pilot, was Ivan Ivanovich, a human analog. Inside Ivan's body were 40 white mice, 40 black mice, a host of guinea pigs, reptiles, human blood samples, human cancer cells, bacteria, and fermentation samples. One of the main tests on this flight was a test of the communication system between the capsule in orbit and the men tracking it on the ground. The Soviets had decided not to fly a recording of a numeric countdown, lest their Western counterparts listening thought they were launching a real mission. They also decided not to play a recording of a man singing in orbit, lest their counterparts in America think that they'd launched a cosmonaut who'd succumbed to space madness. A choir singing was the best option. Karabal Sputnik 4 launched on March 19th and did an exact replica of the flight planned for Yuri Gagarin. Ivan Ivanovich even ejected from the capsule just before landing exactly like Yuri Gagarin would do a month later. Karabal Sputnik 5 followed on March 25th. Both missions were unparalleled successes, paving the way for Yuri Gagarin's first orbital flight on April 12, 1961. The flights of Ivan Ivanovich. They happened in space.